to invite Mr. Chang for a feast. This must be something to do with marriage. Oh, truly, we owe our lives to Mr. Chang. Who's that? It's me. <laughs> May I ask what Sister Scarlet has come here for? Mr. Chang, Madam has sent me to ask you to join us for a feast. Huh, I'll come right away. Let us go, Mr. Chang. Mr. Chang, what are you doing? Why are you pacing back and forth with your eyes fixed on the ground? Sister Scarlet, I have not brought a mirror with me on my travels. I am borrowing the light from heaven to check on my appearance from the shadows cast. <laughs> You're crazy. Sister Scarlet, will you be my mirror? How does my hair look? <laughs> Your hair? It's so slick that a fly would sleep on it. It's so shiny that it dizzies my sight. <laughs> and it's so cloying that it draws my teeth. Scarlet, 
Take your mistress inside. My words sound improper. Speak your heart. When the rebels first laid siege to the temple, you promised Oreo's hand to me. You now present me with a feast. Our food and drink my only concern? Why are you treating Oreo and me as brother and sister? Mr. Chuck, when my husband was alive, he had promised Oreo's hand in marriage to my nephew. I've already sent for him. He isn't already on his way. What am I to do? Shall I offer you gold and silk, and you can marry another lady from a noble family? Will that not solve your purpose? Does Madam think that I'd be interested in money and just any girl of status? I shall take my leave. Scarlet, brother is drunk. Take him back to his study. We'll talk tomorrow. Yes, ma'am. Sister Scarlet, hold me, please. Uh, Mr. Trump! <laughs> How can you expect me to do this? You make your own way. Why don't you drink any less? Sister Scarlet, did you see me touch a drop? Because of your young mistress, I've not been able to sleep or eat. What I want, madam, is taken away. Life is not worth living. <laughs> Tell your mistress, I'll kill myself for love of her! You die too, Wizzily! Since you have saved my life, please continue to keep me alive. <laughs> All right, I'll help you. I know you have a zitter. My young mistress loves its music. Tonight, when we burn joysticks in the garden, I shall come. That will be my signal for you to start playing.
Who's that? It's the messenger of love sickness. Oh, Sister Scarlet, it's you. I bow to you. <laughs> My wish is Mrs. Hughes and sent Scarlet to come see you. Any message for me? Well, she speaks of the moon and the breeze, the perfect setting for the playing of a sister. Since the young mistress pities me, I have a letter for her. Might I trouble Sister Scarlet to deliver it? I'm afraid that I might get in trouble for doing that. Uh, I beg you to do it anyway. Um, she will suddenly tear it up in my presence. Sister Scarlet, I shall reward your kindness handsomely with cash. <sighs> oh, look at you, you poverty stricken lot. Who gives a damn about your money? <sighs> I came here because I was worried that you lovers would be frustrated with your designs. So, what should I say? You should have said, take pity on this wanderer, alone in body and soul. So... If you have said that, I might consider helping you. Oh, very well. Sister Scarlet, take pity on this wanderer, alone in body and soul. Like that? Oh, what a copycat! Why don't you use your own words? Ah, very well. Sister Scarlet, I'll try. <clears throat> Sister Scarlet, this wanderer is alone in body and soul. Take pity on him. Take, take pity on him. Oh, Mr. 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 John. You are a Confucian scholar. Get up, get up, get up. Save this for Oreo. A hundred times I bow to the fragrant one. My young lady. Good killing of me. <laughs> I was devastated at Madame's breaking of our destined marriage. When I look over into your garden, I imagine flying over to you. The sickness accumulates, it weakens my mind, and it drains my vitality. <laughs> Before day's end, I would convey a few words in the faint hope of your having sympathy on this worthless man. So that his final breath may be sustained. This poem expresses my love. My love sickness languishes. The zither of Jesus I cast. The zither of Jesus I cast. Spring again. But joy vanishes. Is your heart moved to by memories of past? She's 
so winning it. Oh, she's reading it. She's flipping it over. She's rereading it. Oh, she's flushing. She's smiling. She's embarrassed. Bitch. <laughs> Scarlet, come here, bitch.
Scarlet, finally you're here! My savior. How did it go? Mr. John, it's over! You can forget it! Young mistress has changed her mind. What? My letter was a love charm. Sister Scarlet, you didn't do it with your whole heart. I didn't. Oh, heavens above. Blame your own fate, not me. Uh, uh, I have to go now. Oh, please don't go. Without you, who else can I turn to? Help, help. Mr. Chang, you are a confusion scholar. Don't you know any confusion ethics? I have to live to know confusion ethics. And without her, I cannot live. Don't play word games with me. You want my young mistress to fulfill your lust while I'll have to put up with Meryl's punishment. <laughs> Take pity on me, Sister Scarlet. Have pity on me. Mr. Shaw! <laughs> okay. Here's your love letter. Oh, how can this be? This is the Imperial Edict. I must kneel to receive it. Uh, what, what is um, young Mrs. Richard? Can you read it to me? She says, I have suddenly received your lovely letter. I am touched that you remember me. Since you have saved my life, how can I not agree to meet you on a special date? Here is a new poem. Please help me. To improve it. Oh, I know the poem. I know its meaning too.
jump and use me to arrange a secret meeting. I shall expose her. I shall see how she carries on with her pretense. Oh, here she comes. Her makeup this evening is ten times as seductive as before.
questions us back. What do you have in your hands that I do not have in mine? Uh... You don't know? Well, I do, but I'm not supposed to say it in front of young ladies. <laughs> not in front! Uh, not in uh, front! Uh, not in front. Not in front. I have in my hands and she does not have in hers. Uh, what else? Uh... item begins with the letter C and it ends with the letter T. It's hairy on the outside and juicy on the inside. Uh, such a shameless question! <sighs> Dirty mind will never get you a broken uh, result! Broken uh, result! Uh, okay. Uh, hairy on the outside, juicy on the inside. Uh, hairy, juicy, dirty mind! Uh, coconut? Correct! Now, the third question. This word begins with the letter M. And it ends with the letter K. It involves a lot of heat and excitement. <laughs> this virginity test is impossible! I get inspiration only from Scarlet's caning. Does my caning give you a burning ah, sensation? Yes, I feel my behind burning. Burning. Ah, burning. Begins with F, ends with K. Fire truck. Correct. Scarlet, keep your mouth shut. Now for the final question, suspect. What does a milking cow have for, whereas I only have two of? Uh... It's gonna stop! Ah, too late! Ladies, a milking cow has four, whereas you have... uh, two. <laughs> I am glad that you have passed the virginity test, but don't do that to me again. I will never forgive you if you do it to me again. I am the daughter of Prime Minister. I'm as cool as eyes and... Chase this Jane. Oh, 
me. <laughs> and address me as your dear, sweet, real elder sister. <laughs> My dear, sweet, real elder sister. <laughs> Very good. My dear, sweet, real, husband yearning younger sister. <laughs> Mr. Chang, Mr. Chang, are you home? Mr. Chang? Mr. Chang, are you alright? Mr. Chang, are you alright? Mr. Chang, Mr. Scott. Sister Scott. This is going to be the death of me. Your young mistress will be incriminated in my death, and you shall be my witness when my case comes up for mention in the court of Yama. Uh, in this world, many suffer from love sickness. A few descend to your stage. Why don't you pay more attention to your studies instead of pining for my young mistress day and night, awake or sleep? Madam sends her regards. Blech. Young Misha sends her regards too. She has written you a prescription. Where is it? Oh. Okay. There's a particular method of using it. Sweet as sweet cassia and midnight So angelica root in moonlight Makes the yin yang potion my lake side Not knowing of you high When the ladybug feels no pain Your jits ingredient will be One sip or two sips for you today That's all I have, nothing will remain that's all I have. Nothing will remain. This prescription is in the handwriting of my sister. It is the Imperial Edict. I must again kneel to receive it. Again? What magic remedy is this? If you do not believe me, I shall interpret the poem now. Way the sweet Cassia at midnight. She means come and embrace her at midnight. Mr. Chang? So angelica root in honeymoon's light, she allows me to taste the forbidden fruit. <laughs> Mix the yin yang and potion by lakeside. She tells me where to find her. From mother knowing herb you'll hide. She says, I should wait until her mother is asleep. When the ladybug feels no pain, she means that you, Scarlet, you will not be forgotten. Your ginseng ingredient will reign. <laughs> she means my vitality will prevail. One sip, two sips to make you gain. She hopes her love will restore my health. It's all I have, nothing will remain. She wants me to cherish her devotion. Very good. Hmm. You might be right. The timing and location are you suspicious enough. And the angelica root and ginseng do have peculiar looks. But wait a minute. What does the ladybug have to do with scarlet? Uh, well, ladybug is scarlet in color. Or maybe scarlet is ladylike. Or maybe scarlet is the lady. No need to have too many implications. Still, I'm worried that Madeline keeps such a tight rein on her that she cannot escape. You don't have to worry about that. No one can stop her if she wants to come. Today is the day, but I'm afraid young mistress may change her mind. Scarlet, young mistress. Prepare my bed. I'm going to sleep now. Go to bed? But what will happen to that person? Which person? You again. Don't trifle with others' lives or I'll report everything to Madam. Cunning bitch. <laughs> I'm 
so shy. How can I face him? Easy. When the moment comes, just close your eyes. Oh, it's so hard. Young mistress. <laughs> receiving this heavenly beauty. It is not my looks or talent that have brought you here, but the compassion you feel for my solitary state. Please stand.
Bukit po? Ah, uh, 4 sa unlucky number. Why do you skip 6? Ah, 6. 6 is taboo. 6 is Madam's birthday. And 8 and 9. 8 and 9? Oh, dear taboos too. Our late master passed away on the night day of 8 lunar month. You are a thoughtful girl. Give her another massage. What? That won't be necessary. Uh, madam, I remember now. We encountered a monster which attacked young mistress in the garden. A monster? What kind of monster? Um, it had two heads. Are you sure? Yes. What did it look like? A head I cannot remember. You cannot hurt you can assist her? Oh, no, 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 no. I remember now. Um, one of its heads looked like the scholar. How can you tell? Because it was handsome. <laughs> <laughs> what did it do? It tried to bite young mistress. And my sister? Your sister tried to fend off the bite. Has the monster bitten my sister? Yes, the monster finally caught her of her and bit her. Was my sister hurt? Do not be helped, young master. <sighs> the other head was even worse. Okay. How do you know? Because it looked like a mark. How can you tell? Because it was bald. What did it do? It tried to butt young mistress. And my sister? Your sister fought back with all her might. She twisted, she kicked, she bent, she stepped in and she shouted. The monk? The monk kept up its attack. Young mistress suffered in vain but never gave up. Did she believe? Yes, madam. But that could not be helped. Your sister was bleeding all right, but she crushed the mom's brains out. Bravo, bravo, crushed his head! Shut your mouth, you stupid! <sighs> Why did you not just go with Scarlet? Why? Uh, because a girl should not find a boy without her parents' permission. But you're the monster, not a boy, Scarlet. Uh, all the same. <laughs> You 
deserve the reward. Give her another massage. What? Take her inside. Call me such a madam. What are you doing? Your holiness. In my opinion, we should marry the body of talent with the blue meat. Transform a stupid offense into a wise conclusion. That is what Scarlet said. And punish whoever deserves to be punished. This is what Scarlet deserves. Mr. Chuck! I shall never do it again. <laughs> Indeed, I only have one daughter. I will give my daughter to you under one condition for me. For three generations, our family has never accepted a commoner son-in-law. After your marriage to Mind, you will immediately leave for the capital. Take the imperial examination, during which I will provide for your wife for food. We will bask in the glory of your son's death. <coughs> but you will have no heart to face your failure. Well 